simplifying trigonometric expressions. So as we get going on simplifying these, what I always suggest is rewrite everything in terms of sine and cosine. Typically, this is going to require using our quotient identities and our reciprocal identities. So on this first one, we have secant of t over tangent of t. What I would suggest is we rewrite secant of t as 1 over cosine of t. That's a reciprocal identity. And then tangent, we can rewrite that with sine over cosine. So sine of t over cosine of t. All right, from here, we have fractions within fractions. So it goes back to some algebra as far as simplifying down here. Um, some people refer to this as keep change flip, where you would keep the top fraction, uh, change from division to multiplication, and then multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. So cosine of t over sine of t. I'm going to visualize this as we've got these little fractions inside of the big fraction. Well, each one of these little fractions means dividing by cosine of t. So I want to counteract that dividing by cosine of t. I want to multiply by cosine of t, but I'm going to do it once in the numerator and once in the denominator. Therefore, it's staying consistent. It's like multiplying by one when you multiply by the same thing, numerator and denominator. But the idea here is we're multiplying by cosine of t and dividing by cosine of t. Those basically create a one. Um, so we have a one in our numerator and these get to quote unquote cancel out or simplify down cosine of t multiplying by it and dividing by it. Those will also simplify down to make a one. So what are we left with? Well, we have a one in our numerator and then in our denominator, we're only left with the sine of t. So with that, pretty simplified down, we can do a little bit better than this though, using one more recip uh, reciprocal identity that one over sine is equivalent to the cosecant of t. So that's gonna be the best answer we can get to on this one. All right, on the next one, we have tangent of t multiplied by cosine of t. Um, I'm gonna replace the tangent in terms of sine and cosine. The tangent is equal to sine of t over cosine of t. And that's still multiplied by bringing along that cosine of t. It was off to the side, so bringing this along. Now we're multiplying by a cosine of t and we're dividing by a cosine of t. So that creates a one. And we can finish this up as those simplify down, we are gonna be left with sine of t. And that's the most reduced down simplified answer we can get to on this one. All right, hope this helps rewrite everything in terms of sine and cosine to get going and then simplify uh, using your algebra as appropriate. Good luck.